Fortnite Season 3 is only one month away and every day we're getting tons of new leaks from our very first look at next season's Battle Pass, a new look at the upcoming map changes and tons of more exciting features arriving in the new season. But quickly hit that subscribe button as we're giving away tons of battle passes and other item shop cosmetics to 5 lucky subscribers who drop a like on this video and are subscribed with the post notification bell turned on. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are running low on V-Bucks. And if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTORAY as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag at. But obviously so far in season 2 we have the addition of earthquakes that are happening in the middle of a match in the form of a mini event. And thanks to the in game files we do know that we're currently on stage 2 of the earthquakes and there is a total of 5 stages. With the final stage being codenamed apocalyptic so it looks like these earthquakes are going to get even more intense over the next few weeks weeks, which I'm guessing will be very similar to what we did see in chapter 1 when these earthquakes would actually cause cracks to show up across the island. And we should be receiving the final update in season 2 on the 16th of May which is now confirmed to be the final update, so hopefully we do get the addition of some brand new live event game files considering we haven't seen a live event on the chapter 4 island just yet, which hopefully will show us how exactly we will be getting a brand new jungle biome inside of season 3 and also the brand new volcano location. But jumping into the very first skin of next season's battle pass we actually have confirmed that we will be seeing the addition of this brand new tiger skin. Which definitely fits the theme of next season considering we do know we're going to be getting a brand new jungle biome. And what we do know about this brand new skin is that it actually will be a brand new boss that you will be able to find at this location considering it's actually codenamed in the game files already as jungle boss NPC. But I don't think I will be using this skin that much considering it does look like it's going to be super bulky in game. But it still looks pretty cool nonetheless and definitely fits in with the theme of next season obviously having a brand new jungle. And next up we also do actually have the addition of a brand new fish Midas skin. As you can see up on screen this skin definitely looks pretty hilarious. So we've actually had this revealed to us on an epic game survey and obviously it seems to be a remix of the leviathan skin we had all the way back in chapter 1 and also Midas being one of the most popular Fortnite characters. But this looks to be the troll skin for next season's battle pass as we normally do see at least one of them every single season. But I still really do like the design of it and I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on it when we move into the brand new season of Fortnite. But with the new season we've also just had leaked to us that we should be seeing the addition of a brand new off-road vehicle that will be able to traverse the brand new jungle biome pretty easily. As we do know we're going to be seeing the addition of a brand new mud mechanic where more or less if you are driving around on this in a normal vehicle you probably will be driving pretty slow. Which makes sense anyways considering that's how it would work in real life but it looks like you will be able to drive a brand new jungle cruiser kind of car. It is also said to have turrets that will be on the back of this so this definitely does sound like it's going to be a pretty fun vehicle to use especially if you're playing squads and i don't know why but i do think it could even be this car that we did actually see in the chapter 2 season 3 trailer which never actually made its way into the game so leave your thoughts on that down in the comments as i definitely think this is going to be a pretty cool feature to see in the game obviously being a new vehicle and also the addition of the brand new first person game mode which is now confirmed to be releasing inside of season 3 and with the most recent update they've even changed more stuff related to the first person game mode as you will now be actually be able to switch the gun from the right or left side of the screen and they've even gone ahead and changed some audio files related to if you're actually playing in third person or even in first person which is definitely pretty cool as it looks like that option will still be available which would make sense considering if you did buy skins you obviously do want to see those skins in game by playing in the third person pov but be sure to let me know down in the comments will you guys be playing the brand new first person perspective once it arrives inside of season 3 as I definitely know I'll be giving it a go. Now next up inside of the next season we're also said to be seeing the addition of a few different collaboration skins. So it looks like we're either going to be seeing the addition of either Spider-Man Miles Morales or even Spider-Man 2099. As we've had that confirmed that we will be seeing a collaboration for the new Spider-Man movie which actually began all the way back in chapter 3 of season 4 when we had Spider-Gwen inside of that battle pass. And what we know about this brand new collaboration is the fact that there's going to be two brand new skins, one of them being codenamed Fearless Flight Hero and Fearless Flight Menace. 
And when this finally makes its way into the game, there will be a brand new NPC on the Fortnite island that will be selling brand new Fearless Flight Mythic web shooters, which are leaked to be working completely different to the original web shooters that we did have back in Chapter 3, which most likely will be Miles Morales' versions, with most likely even some sort of other ability, which I'm guessing will allow us to be able to attack players with this brand new Mythic item, which obviously we weren't able to do with the original web shooters. But both of these brand new cosmetics are said to be coming along with a back bling and all also a harvesting tool each and also the addition of a brand new emote so who knows they could both end up inside of next season's battle pass but i would not be surprised if one of them arrived in the item shop just before the release of the upcoming movie itself but when it comes to the Fortnite chapter 4 storyline obviously it is a complete mess as we have no idea what exactly is going on as the members of the seven are still missing after the ending of chapter 3 and we do know that amy did go through the rift gate at the very end of season 1 in an attempt to save them from the last reality and it looks like she should be one of the next season storyline characters that will be making their way into the battle pass as we actually did have a look at her skin on an epic game survey which definitely fits the theme of obviously it being a seven character and possibly even being a new member of them and I mean, hopefully the storyline does move a little bit quicker as we are almost done with Chapter 4 already, considering we should be getting the release of Chapter 5 by the end of the year. We do know, thanks to Donald Mustard, he did actually state the other day that the 7th storyline is not yet over, so we obviously can't expect to see the return of all of our favourite characters. But it turns out that's not the only storyline character that should be making their way into next season, as it also is said that we're going to be seeing the addition of Dr. Sloan. It was going to be a completely different version to what we did see in the past, obviously being in the Chapter 2 season 7 battle pass as we know there's going to be two different styles to this skin one of them more or less looking like she has some sort of sand power which most likely will be explained in the storyline soon and also the addition of a brand new last reality version of her which i definitely do think looks pretty cool and it looks like she is actually working with them now as you can see just from the outfit itself it definitely does fit the vibes of the last reality and everything we've seen from them in the past so be sure to leave your theories on that down in the comments as I'm really confused at how exactly she is back in the storyline and how exactly she will fit into the ending of chapter 4. As we do know that there's actually a new group on the Fortnite island which are actually calling themselves the Unseen who do actually seem to be working with the last reality as well. As here inside of season 2 obviously there's this whole storyline going on with the River Guard, the Fox Clan and obviously other characters. And on the most recent Epic Games survey we did actually have a look at some brand new Unseen skins which obviously will either be making their way into future battle passes or even inside of the Fortnite item shop. When it comes to the final skin that we do actually have for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3, it is also said we're going to be seeing an addition of a brand new anime collab, which is actually said to be Luffy from a show called One Piece. Now, I don't really watch anime myself, but obviously this is the character here. And from what a lot of people have actually told me is the fact that this will definitely fit the theme of next season, obviously having the brand new jungle biome. And obviously, everybody does love an anime collaboration in Fortnite, considering here in Season 2, we had the addition of an Attack on Titan collab. And over the next few days, we will even be seeing the addition of a brand new Dragon Ball collab in the form of a brand new Goku Black skin. So be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be excited for that one. But for the very first time in years, it looks like we're also going to be seeing a new cosmetic type added to next season's Battle Pass, which actually will be the form of brand new weapon charms. they have actually been worked on inside of the game files all the way back in Chapter 1, and it looks like they will be making their way into the game for the brand new first person POV, which is definitely pretty cool considering that will mean there'll be less filler stuff inside of the Battle Pass and more stuff that we're actually going to use. That is pretty much all we have time for here in today's video and if you did enjoy it be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new and thanks for watching.